welcome back to the channel and this is part two of my chats with solo female travellers. I hope you've watched the first one. If you haven't, the link's in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Okay, so I'm here in Beckfan. Um, what van is it? Uh, my channel's The Lost Native and my van is called Sue. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> um, so I want to have a chat about um, solo women on the road. Mm -hmm. um, I've spoken to Vic earlier. Um, Vic's not full time, but you're full time, aren't you? I'm full time, yeah. Yeah. So how do you find it? Were you, so when you started out, were you nervous at all about sort of coming out in your van on your own? Yeah. So I had a, a pretty interesting experience um i decided to start van life because of uh, being diagnosed with an incurable illness and it gave me a real lease that life is extremely short and i found van life when i was in the hospital and um i said if i survive i would get into van life mm -hmm. and so i just I, I jumped into it you bought the plane panel van i'm assuming plane panel van um, it had no floor and no walls, no ceiling. And just started converting? Started converting, no, no experience at all. So once you, um, you started, mm -hmm. um, how did you, like, were you in, um, nervous about first going away and sleeping out on your own? Yes. So, like everyone, everyone struggles with a bit of anxiety. Uh, I just thought to myself, I'm going to just try to control those thoughts that will go into your mind if yeah. someone's going to get in or anything like that but everyone has their security features that make them feel safe mm -hmm. I put them in place and basically just thought to myself what why stress throughout the night and have the worst night's sleep yeah, and it affect my morning when nothing may happen so I just tried to remember that and as you within about five minutes because the van was a bit more done you forget that you're actually in a van. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it becomes home. <laughs> what, what about, because I know I had it, um, like friends and family, mm. were they trying to discourage you from going out or were they like, um, well, where are you? Are you safe? Yeah. Are you, where, you know, tell us where you are. Yeah, yeah. Is there anyone around you? And if uh, I know if I'd messaged someone and said, oh, a car's just pulled in, I would then have a message back going, well, move, you better move quickly. And it was like, <laughs> why? Please. That's it. Yeah, so did you have anything like that? Um, sort of. I, I had peop uh, family members uh, worried about like where I was and um, if I was okay and things like that. Mm -hmm. But we do we do have a family group where it's called uh, like Find My Friend. Oh yeah. yeah. So I've linked my my van because my van's all. Uh, Bluetooth and connected to the internet so my van and myself separately are connected to the find my friends app oh, okay. uh, which obviously is then connected to my my family and my sisters so they know where I am if and where any, your van is so and if where you, I am. yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. really good to know yeah. and for security as well I have features on my uh, phone as well and my my uh, watch that if I lose my van like if you're walking through the woods it will find it will tell me how to get to my van as long as i have a connection ah that's so really good it's quite useful yeah, so yeah. it just means you, you know, won't ever be lost <laughs> I know, um, my, my watch Sorry. has it's all right my my watch has a feature that if i uh, press a button like so many times it will send a text to i think uh, four people yes yeah same with mine, um yeah. so if i was ever in trouble yeah i mean it was for when i went horse riding but yeah. now it's everyday use yeah 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 that's so exactly. yeah if you went to a park up somewhere and you found out that your park up has no internet signal or um, phone signal, uh -huh. would you stay? Hmm. So I... You know what? Yeah. Is that a thing that you look for and don't, you know, because me, if I park up somewhere and there's no phone mm. or internet and I'm yeah. on my own, yeah. nope, I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel the same. I haven't quite got to that point where I am comfortable in the woods. I am to a certain point. If, Even if you've got internet? If I've got internet I am, and phone signal and everything else, I am a little bit at ease. 
but it's a 50 percent if i'm gonna actually stay or drive off okay i've i thought i would be a uh out in nature type of person uh through park ups but i've actually become more of an urban park up oh, okay i prefer having people around so so, so what is your what are your park ups normally like sort of outside houses or my park ups are a mixture between um sort of really small country roads uh with like dog walk areas yeah, yeah um a mixture between like stonehenge which is surrounded by van lifers and and some urban where i'm outside i actually people's houses. forgot to lock my door last night yeah that, that's how comfortable you get yeah, yeah but i'm i find that i'm more if if i'm hesitant and another camper van turns up i instantly feel a hundred percent at ease just from the so thought. if it's a camper van but not if it's a car yeah that's interesting because yeah. sometimes i'm like oh, who's in that van yeah yeah but, i mean because yeah. it's like you've you've got those two those two worries will you be okay as a, a solo female van lifer because everyone has those worries but then you've got the separate issue of are you allowed to be here and yeah. will someone knock on your door of course so if another van turns up and uh, they're staying there the night as well the more and more that turn up the more you get comfortable that you've got 50 percent got rid of that 50 percent of worry okay yeah i've got you that's yeah. exactly what vic said vic, yeah. vic when i was talking to vic vic's um anxiety wasn't about someone getting into the van mm. it was actually about am i allowed to be here yeah yeah now for me yeah i guess it's the same as you yeah, it's yeah. a 50 50 on those yeah exactly um, but when I thought about doing this video, all I thought was, oh, no, the scariness of The scariness men. of another person. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Of men, Because yeah. that's what it is, isn't it? It's it not, is. if there's a woman there, it's men. No. But I think that's not just van life. That is drummed into us from mm -hmm. being like... Oh, yeah, from, from a little child. Yeah. When I, um, when I, because I go to Europe uh, every winter, pretty much, uh, I, and I've been to Europe for the... I don't even know now like maybe four or five times now um mixture from out the year and um and i'm going back this winter but my main concern is when you go through france mm -hmm. a lot of the park ups are airs or they are truckers stops and my my mom said to me what was the first thought when you got there and there's truckers around you because majority of them are men yeah and i actually said well what i do is I lean back in my seat so that they can't see I'm a female. Okay. Because the side of my panel of my door dis uh, masks disguise it. masks my face. Uh -huh. um, and then I literally just will. Would you jump from the front seat? I will seat jump to from the... the seat straight yeah. into the cab, close the door. Because yeah. the less they. If I'm just going to sleep and it's actually nighttime, I will just jump into the back. I don't need to advertise that I'm by myself. Yes. Uh, so. Do you do anything, have you got anything in here to make it seem like there might be a man in here? Oh, I know I've many heard, things. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that um, some people have like a big work boots and they yeah. put them like either on the, you know, on show somewhere or yeah. even at the outside the door or yeah, yeah. Um, high vis jackets and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, so I have two high vis jackets in the front that I always put when I'm not in a more comfortable space like this, I put lay them over the seats uh that jacket over there is for a guy uh but i wear it it's and really it's really sad isn't it that we have to do this it's sad it's sad that we feel that we have to disguise it i mean the whole of the front of my cab is disguised to look masculine yeah it could be male or female couldn't it because i don't want it to be perceived as too much like a camper van and i don't want it to be perceived as too girly mm. For the point that well that was okay. one of my things about putting um any um stickers or anything on my van mm. i was always a bit conscious that if i park somewhere people would potentially know who it was in the van yep. and you know mark's not always with me no exactly the same and it's like well having. do i really want to advertise that yeah um, my but i've got the dogs so. yeah 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 well actually i'm thinking about getting a dog I've been wanting a dog for 10 years and now finally I'm in the van 
I was just like, I'm gonna get a dog. One. I mean, I think that I think mm. again, lots of people do get dogs yeah. for security. For security. Um, like I was saying to Vic earlier, I was quite surprised of actually how many men are actions anxious about parking. Mm. Yeah. You know, somewhere that's. Um, yeah. Do you use um? How do you find your park ups? Do you find them on Park for Night or anything like that? Park for Night, uh, I have Alanda and I just generally look through uh, Google Earth Maps yeah, to yeah, see. Uh, sometimes I use a drone if I feel like the road is a bit sketchy and I don't want to drive, drive too far and then potentially get stuck so I use a drone to, to go around. So the other thing that I was telling Vic again, sorry, um, that I do is if I um, say if there's a car park I will always reverse into the space Yes. so that if someone does come and I don't like the idea of it I can do what you do and I can hop over and get yep. straight into the driver's yep. seat. Same. That's why I'll also never put my pedal lock on when I'm in the van yep. because yep. I can't mm. go in a hurry. Yeah, this is exactly it. I just got, when I did a talk at uh, the Overlander show, that this, this question came up and they said, what do you do? Or what do you feel you would do in a situation where you wanted to leave suddenly? And I say that obviously I've got locks and I've got censored locks that make noises if, if someone comes near the van. Okay. But for for my ease before I go to sleep, I always put the keys right next to me. Mm -hmm. So if it's dark, I know where they exactly are and I don't have to turn the lights yeah. on. I swivel my driver's seat round so I can just drive off. Um, and I have smash proof glass on the glass as well, which gives me those few seconds if any of that was to happen. But yeah, the biggest I mean, it's, fear is just, it's not. I think but it's more of a fear, know. isn't it? I mean, I don't, yeah. I have never heard of any anybody. You hear things on YouTube and they obviously you have to take those with a pinch of salt because sometimes they are put there for the aspect that it is a show, but it can happen and, yeah. and it and it does happen to people but I mean, just not as much as you know it could be made up i to. guess to uh, think that it might happen is better than just being naive yeah. and thinking it won't happen yeah. yeah okay another question for you then mm -hmm. um scenario you're parked up mm -hmm. um you can hear someone coming and you can hear people walking around your van mm -hmm. would you a turn all the lights on so they know someone's in there mm -hmm. or would you be try and have a look without turning any lights on yeah so i've got um my cam my camera at the front oh, and there. that was my other question do yeah. you have a camera yeah so my camera at the front um is centered so it will go off uh through movement but also through movement of the van as well i think i would just leave me as i am um i've actually also got uh sounds on my uh, phone okay, so do like a dog bark so i've got an aggressive dog sounds on my phone which i've heard lots of people do yeah, as well, which yeah. a lot of people do uh but the 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 biggest comfort is is that if you need to leave you are in a three and a half ton vehicle Mm. You, the majority of the time, you can just drive off. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why I got the smash roof glass, just for those few moments that if someone wanted to get in, I have all those few seconds. Mm -hmm. But um, you do get over it. You get over the fear, and you realise majority of it is just your mind. Yeah. See, see, I was. Um, we were just talking to a man out there, and mm. he said if he heard anyone walking around his hand, van maybe trying trying the doors or something yeah, yeah. he turns all the lights on so they yeah. know someone's in here yeah and i said i do the complete opposite yeah i yeah. would literally be turning all the lights off if i've got anything on and peering out the window because number one i don't want them to know that i am a female yeah. on my own yeah yeah i mean my dog would go berserk anyway so yeah. i would make sure he made a noise mm. but i'm i'm sort of like on hide mode I'm yeah on, you know, yeah, yeah. Mode rather than fight. I think if someone was try, if someone clearly was trying to get into the van and they weren't just walking past, I would turn on all the lights I and think make I'm, myself yeah, very I think clear. I might, yeah. Because the, I guess if they're further away, you don't want to draw attention. Yeah, to you yourself. don't want to draw attention to uh -huh. yourself because you know people. 
with the best intentions they will potentially they can and have done with with people not myself but they will phone up the police and be like oh there's someone sleeping here and then you might get a knock saying are you okay most police are fine uh with just checking for your welfare yeah but uh you get nosy people i'm afraid and um but yeah if someone was clearly trying to get in i would make myself very well known and um but i i, I don't peer outside i will turn on the lights and I would make noise inside. Yeah. But that's I think that's an added reason why I would like to have a dog. Just I like the idea that they can hear a lot better than Oh I yeah, can. definitely. <laughs> yeah. So And they sense things even if they've not heard it. Yeah. They know, you know, yeah. uh, if there's some someone out there. Yeah, exactly. Mine Whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is, even if it's just, you know, like we get foxes down here and I've had a fox run over my bonnet. And what, here? Yeah, here, oh further God. down. Wow. And um, it ran over my bonnet and I spent probably, I don't know, like 15 minutes thinking, what was that, what was that? But I think if I had a dog, it would put me at ease because I know that if I'm asleep, they're more aware. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to be aware. So, yeah. yeah, I think it's just having that extra, that extra heartbeat or that extra thing that's making noise around me would be nice rather than just silence <laughs> to be honest the dog's just nice to be able to talk yeah, to exactly. so you're not like yeah. talking to yourself it. it's exactly. like it's okay i'm just talking to the dog yeah, yeah, yeah that's it <laughs> right thank you so much you're I will, welcome i will leave you now that's fine no worries so i'd just like to say thank you for watching if you haven't done already please press that thumbs up that likes like button uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it helps our channel grow There'll be more to come from me and I just want to say thank you so much to Bex for letting me film that little bit and might have a van tour of her van later on. Thanks for watching.